Alrighty guys, thanks for watching my video here. You're going to like it, you're going to love it, you're going to learn a lot from it. It's going to be good. Alright, so what I do here when I'm installing pre-hung doors is I make, a, I make four 4x5 four blocks and I put three screws in them. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. I should have got a picture of it, but if uh, if, it, if it doesn't make sense, I'll have to make another video, I guess. But I just scribe a line down it, uh, five sixteenths off the uh, off one side. Doesn't matter which side, and then I put two screws on that line, top and bottom, and then I put one screw in the middle of those on the other side um, to form like a triangle type deal. Uh, the two screws go into the side of like the door jam, and then the one screw will go into the framing around the door, which you will get to see here shortly. For the most part, with pre-hung doors, there's always going to be like a nail or something holding it shut. Uh, just like that, I just pulled. There's two nails on that one. Then you just go ahead and just set the door in place. Now I use my foot quite a bit underneath the door as you can see to move it around. I, I just put the level right on the hinges because I mean they're, they're straight as anything else on the door. As you can see I just lift the door up a little bit and then I'll put the top screw in. Lifting the door up a little bit well in case you need to lift up the other side it kind of helps that already just so I mean I just always lift the left side up the hinge side up I should say always lift the hinge side up just a little bit. Then get it nice and level and screw the bottom in. This is a nice little technique because it automatically flushes out the door with all the drywall. And then what I'm doing here is I'm just making sure my reveal's right on uh, all around the door, which the nice, another nice part about this technique is you just level the one side and on the inside just go around and make sure your reveal is all, all good. Once that's done, you can start putting shims in. Always start with your hinge side. Put the shims right behind the hinges. And with this particular builder, he likes to have three nails kind of wrapping around the hinge, which I'm not too big of a fan. I think it's too many nails, but this is paint grade, so it's all going to be filled, so you, you won't notice it. But as I'm just doing here is I'm just putting hinges in. Or, sorry, excuse me putting in uh, shims behind the hinges. And then just nailing it off. On the opposite side of the hinges, it's a little different. Uh, you want to just do top and bottom, and you can just shim roughly in the same spot as across from the hinge. I just do top and bottom first, and then shoot those in. And then close your door, and you want to check again that the reveal is all good since that side's all nice and floppy. So, as you can see, I'm just going to close the door, check the reveal in the middle. It either needs to be jammed out or sucked in a little bit. This one I'm pretty sure was shimmed, yeah, shimmed out. Once you get that reveal nice, open it back up, pop a couple nails in there.
And once you're done with that, just go ahead and start pulling the screws out. Get your doors all nice and in there. And I will be showing at the end of the video that though I am putting screws into the sides of the door there, not into the door itself, but like the jam, uh, you will see that it doesn't affect anything. I put the screws about 5 sixteenths in, and obviously for the most part you want your reveal to be 3 sixteenths, or I mean even if it was a quarter, when you put your trim around the door you're not going to see the holes. And if there were a hole there, it's paint grade, so obviously it'll be filled. Same with how, I mean, they put a nail through the door to hold it in place when you get it, so. Don't freak out, everybody. Right here, I'm just chopping all the shims. You can use a multi-tool. Uh, I've got one, but it's corded. And I just don't like dragging a cord around. I don't like to drag, drag more than one cord around, I should say. Um, they do have the battery powered ones, which would come in handy here, but I just I'm a big fan of the Japanese style saw. I think it's I think it's a pretty fun tool. Video is about to be wrapped up here. Uh, there's, you guys have any tips on going faster than this? Obviously, I'm, I'm, you can see me, I'm not moving too quick here. Um, it's a pretty quick way to install them. Uh, if you guys have any more tips or anything, this is my job, so I mean, it'll definitely help me out on being faster. Whatever you got, some criticism. Tell me how slow I am, tell me I'm lazy. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it, hope it helped you guys out. I mean, this, uh, to me, this is a, one of the best ways to do uh, hang a door by yourself. Uh, so you're not sitting there fighting anything. And then right here in the end here I show that there's just 316s and you're good. You're not gonna admit, you're not gonna hate anything. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed the video and give it a like if it helped you out. Thanks for watching.